We have already played so much football this season, it's hard to believe that we're not even kind of really sort of at the halfway point. We've got a massive two-legged tie in the CONCACAF Central American Final today. If we win, we get ourselves a berth in the round of 16 of this year's CONCACAF Champions Cup. We're already in the competition. Can we get ourselves that leg up? And welcome back, everyone, to episode number 68 of the American Dream. I am Mr. Cellophane. If you've enjoyed the series so far, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you to everyone who has supported us so far on this journey. I was so excited by winning the Copa Costa Rica last episode. I forgot we still had three matches left in the opening state, so we're going to blow through them right now. The first was on the road against San Carlos. In fact, we would play San Carlos twice in this span of three matches. 2-1, your final score. In fact, we scored all three goals. Juan Diego Secaria getting things started in the 12th minute. Jose Pablo Espinosa adding one in the second half, and then an own goal deflection off of the foot of Luis Mora playing left back for us. Gave San Carlos their only goal of the match. Yet another victory in the league for Saprissa. We would follow that up with two home matches and two clean sheets in those matches. Kelvin Ofori v. Tantusha scoring just a minute apart late in the first half to give us a 2-0 victory at home against Liberia. Kevin Ofori missing a penalty in the 11th minute, which is the only black mark on his record so far. He did make up for it a little bit later on. And then in a match that featured a ton of second-teamers for Saprissa, we were able to hang on to a 1-0 victory against San Carlos. Didn't get much done in the first half. Diego Marrero with an absolute screamer in the 75th minute from just outside the box. Put us up 1-0, and that is where we would end. 9-7, your shots on goal, only managing two on target. Not very impressive. However, we do finish... On the top of the table, after 22 matches, the opening stage of the Primera División is complete. We won by 20 points over Alajuelense when all was said and done. Remember the beginning of last episode? We were only up by three. We lost just one match the entire season. And that was to Santos, the team that we have drawn in the semifinals of the opening stage playoffs. The first match of which is going to be sandwiched in between the two legs of the final of the CONCACAF Central American Cup. We're taking on C.D. Coatepeque out of Guatemala, currently sitting in fifth place on the table in the Guatemalan League. They have their own opening stage playoffs that they are dealing with. That's their problem. We, we need a victory. Okay, we need two. Needing to put a massive stamp on this competition in the home leg. We do have a full complement of players, save one. Ugo Cordero, suspended for this match, will not be starting at right back. Obviously, Jorge Valverde is going to take his place. He is going to join Bacar Gonzalez and Coronel on our back line. Buheni, of course, is going to be in goal. It will be Steven Aquista and Alejandro Braun manning the midfield. Kelvin Ofori at the 10 in support of Edward Lopez as the striker. And our wingers today, RV Tantusha on the left, Juan Diego Secaria on the right. We really have run through most of our competition so far this year. We are hoping that Coatepeque is no different, but we do not know a ton about the side from Honduras, except they have only won once in their last five. One win, one loss, three draws, hoping that we can take advantage of them, take a nice big lead on aggregate after this first leg at home, show them who's boss, and take the trophy on their pitch. Free kick, Alejandro Braun looking for Ofori, headed away. Flores doesn't get it far. Aquista finds Secaria, has to back up, leaves it for Coronel across for Freddy Gonzalez. Space on the left, Aquista moving it into the box. Aquista still with it. He'll shoot, and that's easily handled by the goalkeeper, De Leon. Had a couple of options in the middle, opted to go for the shot himself. Probably the bad choice. Juan Diego Secaria. Moving it up the right-hand side. It's that wide pitch we love playing on. Alejandro Brand. Steven Aquista going for it. Clatters it off of the crossbar. Won by Vitan Tusha. Knocked away by Flores. And Hiron will look to move it forward for Cote de Pique. So some early pointed questions being asked of this Saprissa team in the early going of this match. But we still have yet to find 
the back of the goal. Three shots on goal to two. We have the only two shots on target of this match as we hit the half hour point. Dominating in possession, 66% of it, as De Leon will deal with that attempt from outside the box off the free kick from Alejandro Braun. Hichem Bakar with the ensuing corner kick looking for Coronel. Can't find him. Ofori back post. It goes over Valverde's head. Hiron is going to pick that up and look to move the ball forward. And this is something we did not want to see. Juan Diego Secaria going out with an injury. It's an upper body injury. Not sure how long that's going to keep him out. So Ofori is going to move to the right wing. And we are going to bring in Diego Moreira, who is typically our starter at the number 10. Obviously not getting the start this time. Secaria has been playing very well. Ball sent long, knotted down. Moreira's got it up to Lopez. Gets out of traffic before laying it back to Freddy Gonzalez. Aquista spitting it ahead for Tusha, who will just lay it back for Gonzalez in the Saprisa end. Aquista has Tusha running forward, looking for Lopez over the defense. Lopez is in. Lopez shoots. Lopez scores. Lopez is, surprise, surprise, offside. I thought the play went to Edward Lopez originally because Vitan Tusha was offside. Didn't realize that Lopez was as well, and that is way too common. Alejandro Braun up the middle. Lopez splits the defense, but can't beat De Leon. It's behind for yet another corner. He Bacar to take it from the far side. Two minutes will be added on at the end of the 45. We are in the 45th minute. Marrera sending it in. Can't get it to Gonzalez. Braun to Ofori. His shot is going to be blocked as he tried to go through the mass of bodies. It will go out. For a goal kick, I guess it deflected off of one of ours. 12 shots on goal, 7 on target. Not a single shot on target for Koe Tepeke. But we are not dominating quite the way we imagined. And that's on the scoreboard. And because we're not dominating, we made sure the team heard about it in the locker room. A bit harsh on the team talk, but the team seems to have responded well. It's a tactic that we have used quite frequently, both here and on stream. Even if things are going our way, we let the team know that they can always do better. It's why we demand more so often. And Freddy Gonzalez finally coming through off of the corner, his seventh of the year. The feed from Alejandro Braun, it's 1-0. We still do need more. A one-goal aggregate lead may not be enough heading into the second leg in Guatemala a week from now. Changes to be made as we approach... Just about 10 minutes left to go. Steven Aquista is tired. William Ramirez is going to come in. Feeling a little apprehensive, but hey, what can you do? Esteban Cordero also going to take over at striker as we make our second and third changes of the match. Out shooting Cotepeque 15-6. to six, but The highlight in their general direction. The first we've seen. Swept away by Esteban Cordero, but one back. Cotepeque laying it back to De Leon. Rodriguez ahead. Soto. Finds Hiron. Hiron looking to pass it forward. Bakar gets in the way of that. Is switch a play to Ofori. Heads it over to Alejandro Braun. Back to Ofori in a bit of traffic. So we'll play it to Coronel. Coronel back to Ofori on the midfield stripe, moving it into his left. Again, kind of getting in the way of Alejandro Braun. Fed out wide. Valverde. Slide tackle from Hiron. He's going to miss the next match. A straight red card. Seven minutes remaining in the match. I don't know if we're going to be able to take advantage of the man up, but not having Hiron for Cotepeque in the second leg could potentially be huge because of all of the Cotepeque players out there, his name came out of my mouth the most. A win in the home leg, not as impressive as I feel like we needed. We are going to Guatemala with a 1-0 lead. Now, because we won the league by 20 points, we have already qualified for the grand final, which makes this tie against Santos the most superfluous semifinal in the world. Kelvin Ofori, though, starting the scoring with the 1-0 lead, his 19th of the year. Santos would come back. Nice ball through the middle. Gamboa powering it through. Buheni Esteban Cordero putting us back up ahead. 2-1 off of the penalty spot. We would lose Vitan Tusha to injury, so that meant William Ramirez had to come in. Back post header, picking up his sixth goal of the year. Not too shabby, considering I've spent most of the season slagging him, so he decided he was just going to add another, making it 4-1 as he 
blasts it through the goalkeeper. But in the waning moments, in added time, off of a corner kick, Sergio Gonzalez would blast one home to bring Santos back within two. But we head home for the second leg of the semifinal with a two-goal lead. Vitan Tusha did pass a fitness test for the second leg of the CONCACAF Central American Cup Final. However, he is not going to be in the starting lineup. He will be on the bench. We have also brought in Leonardo Arias, a young player from our U19 side, who can play on the left just in case. But by virtue of his last performance, scoring two goals, William Ramirez is going to get the start on the left wing. Buhene is going to be in goal. It will be Bakar Gonzalez, Coronel, and Hugo Cordero in the back. Steven Aquista and Jorge Valverde in the midfield. Diego Marrera will man the 10. He'll be in support of Esteban Cordero. Ramirez, as we mentioned, on the left wing. On the right, leading scorer, Kelvin Ofori. Hoping to carry over our good vibes. Hoping Kelvin Ofori can score his 20th of the year. We come into the away leg of this final with a 1-0 aggregate lead. We beat Coatepeque at home. Not as resoundingly as we would have hoped, but it was still a victory. If we can pull out a victory on the road, even the draw would be okay. Now, they do play on a thinner pitch. We decided a long time ago that we were going to ditch our narrow formation. It just was not working and go with the tried and true. And we are pushing it up here in the sixth minute. Fed into the box. Ramirez, he's got it. He'll shoot from a tough angle, and he will score his eighth of the year, third in two matches, and it's 1-0 Saprisa. I can smell the title already, although there's still over 80 minutes remaining in this match. Esteban Cordero lining up over a free kick from about 25 yards out, going for it. De Leon, though, will get his hands on it and knock it behind for a corner. We have been killer on these set pieces. Can Hugo Cordero add to it? Looking back post, Cordero trying to flip it past De Leon. Almost in, but it's cleared off of the line and out for a throw-in. What a defensive play from the back four at Coatepeque to keep that one out and to keep the scoreline at 1-0. Cordero this time can't get it to Valverde. Santos will pop it up. Cordero once again looking back post. Finds Esteban Cordero, his 16th of the year. Hugo Cordero with the assist. It's 2-0. This is the kind of performance we were hoping for but didn't get in the home leg. 7-0, your shots on goal. We've already hit the target five times. Ramirez this time just a little bit high and wide. And De Leon not forced to make a save. Not a single shot on goal yet for Coatepeque, but they're looking for one here off of the corner. What a save by Buheni. Well, I thought he got his hand on it, but apparently it's a goal kick. Coatepeque starting to ask some questions of the Saprissa defense at the half hour mark but as we hit the end of the first 45 this match has really been all Saprisa. Ramirez and Cordero scoring goals in the 6th and 16th minutes. We are up 2-0 on the night, 3-0 on aggregate. And as always, we are looking for more and we are putting the weight of our expectations on the team in the halftime team talk. 45 minutes Till we achieve our first continental trophy here in the CONCACAF Central American Cup. Well, it's a semi-continental trophy. I'm not quite sure how it's viewed. A victory, though, will ensure us a spot in the round of 16 in the CONCACAF Champions Cup, putting us at the starting point that one step closer to our American dream. Played down Torres, blasting it and blasting it wide. Less than 20 minutes remaining in this match. We are going to make some changes. Akista is going to come out. Uh, Alejandro Braun will take his place in the midfield. William Ramirez, he scored a goal, but let's see what Leonardo Arias can do. I think with the two-goal lead, we are in good shape. We'll also give Hugo Johnson some minutes on that right side and spell Kelvin Ofori. Save him for the second leg of the semifinal, even though we really don't need him in that. The grand final, well, the final, hopefully instead of the grand final, we'll figure out who we're playing in just a little bit. Just two and a half minutes remaining. Johnson will give it back to Hugo Cordero. Braun into the middle. Valverde fed out wide once again, and he'll get it back from Hugo Cordero. Played back, Freddy Gonzalez up the middle. Braun quickly to Bakar. Arias looking to make the turn. Runs into a bit of traffic as he and Alejandro Braun 
try to occupy the exact same spot. That generally tends not to work if I remember my high school physics properly. Out wide, Cordero up ahead. Hugo Johnson in space toward the corner. Edge of the box, Cordero over for Braun. Braun with a shot. And that's going to go wide. Two minutes remaining of the original 90. Three to be added on. And Coatepeque trying to get a late goal here. Played across. Gutierrez with a shot handled by Buheme. What a save. Will lead to a late corner. We have played nearly one minute of the three in stoppage time here in this second half. Flores looking to deliver the outswinger. It's what they like to do. Typically, they go near post. This time, far post, and it didn't work. So even though they made a late attempt on trying to score a goal and bring themselves back into this tie, ultimately, Coatepeque fell short on their own pitch, and Saprisa is going to lift their third trophy so far this year. We won the Supercopa. We won the Copa Costa Rica. And now we have won the CONCACAF Central American Cup. As we get ready for the trophy to be lifted, the fireworks to go off, and the confetti to rain down. Yet another step on our journey has been achieved will be in the round of 16 for the CONCACAF Champions Cup. It's what we wanted. It's what we needed. And with just the one loss in all competitions, we are poised to continue our dominant run into 2032. We're going to finish off Santos in the semifinals of the opening stage playoffs off camera. We're going to bring you the final Hoping we win that, we don't have to play in the grand final. It would be a shame to start losing now. If you like that video, make sure you hit the thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're new or if you just haven't done so already. Once again, thank you everyone for your support. I'll see you back here next time. Until then, bye bye.